Um, next clip here, we have this one. So, with this, right? I'm a, bit, I'm a little bit conflicted with this one. I have to disagree with the fight, Fire in the Kids subreddit. The Fire in the Kids subreddit guys like to rag on Brendan a lot because they feel like he lies about his football career. They feel like he kind of embellishes the truth and it makes it seem as if he played in the NFL when he didn't. Now, it's difficult because for me, it's clear that he did have a trial, quote unquote, with the Buffalo Bills. There's record of it. He's got kit. He's got himself in the picture. He's got pictures of himself wearing the stuff. People remember him at that time, blah, blah, blah. He didn't play in the season. He didn't go in any official, you know, he didn't play in the official matches and shit, but he clearly had a trial. In my book, that counts. I know you guys don't agree, but I feel like to get to the level where you're able to have a trial, even if it is a walk-on, quote-unquote, you still have to be at a certain level to get the opportunity. The fact that he got the opportunity, I feel like, is a exam is kind of proof enough that he did play at a high level at the Buffalo Bills or in the NFL. Personally, that's what I would say. I know some of you don't agree, but I think that's the case. So I think sometimes the Fire and the Kids subreddit are a little bit too harsh on him when it comes to the fo the football career because I think he did have one. That's my opinion. Um, but uh, let's see what you guys think. This is a clip taken from the T5K channel. It's a Brendan Schaub lies about NFL career and Brock Lesnar. Let's see. So, because there's been when you look at the successful guys who played football, one of the UFC, you'd have Brock Lesnar, uh, Mitrione, myself, and then Greg Hardy. Yeah, I think the biggest one is Greg Hardy because he had the best NFL career out of all of us, right? I had a cappuccino. With yeah, so it's hard to say you had an NFL career if you had a trial. That's where I understand where people are get annoyed because if I had a trial for Arsenal, if I had a trial for Man United. I can't say I'm a Premier League football player if I then only played semi-professionally in the fucking Conference League or something. I can't say I'm a professional football player or I played in the Premier League because I had a trial with fucking Crystal Palace. That doesn't work that way. But he's kind of like... Obs I, I get what he's saying, but he's still, it's still something to kind of like take credit for that you went and did a trial because you have to be at a certain level to get those trials not anybody can just walk into those trials you have to be somewhat invited have a contact but also be a certain standard but who knows buffalo bills mitchell <coughs> mitchell played six years wasn't really like a starter he got some play brock lesnar just went to training camp so yeah. me and brock are similar training camp. It's something there's yeah. something about but i hate when people dude if you could get you know john jones in the nfl I'm like oh he wouldn't make it you wouldn't yeah. get through high school football. Yeah. It's a different set of... I think being a, a high-level wrestler... It has nothing to do with football. athleticism. No. Yeah. But, but you have to be different. crazy athletic to be... But I also think there's a weird thing to mention here. There's a weird little undercurrent. Maybe it's just me and I'm kind of overanalyzing it. But I get the feeling that Brendan has a little bit of like resentment still that his NFL career didn't work out. There's a little bit of resentment there still. Even though he's super successful in the things that he's done post NFL career, and he's were made way more out of himself, um, you know, despite his lack of fucking success in professional sports, he's done really well outside of it, despite all that sort of shit, and actually been one of the people I think that spearheaded the whole like you know former athlete media thing, especially in the combat sports field. I still think there's a bit of resentment in him that his NFL career didn't work out the way he wanted it to. And for some reason, I feel like, I don't know why, again, maybe I'm playing the race card here. Please forgive me. I'm on my fucking Wakanda forever shit right now. But I feel like he has a thing against black people. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Something happened to Brendan in his NFL career. I don't know if somebody, I don't know what position he played, tight end or something. Maybe there was some fucking black guys there who took his position. And ever since then, he's had a bit of an issue about it. Either that, or he's got some resentment because his wife maybe used to date loads of fucking former professional black athletes and shit. And maybe she's one of those women who kind of, you know, speaks about her exes a lot and stuff and name drops them. And says, oh my God, it's so good to see so-and-so do well. And it kind of just eats away at him. But there's something, there's something about black people and NFL <laughs> that Brendan doesn't like. I'm not too sure what it is, but there's something about it. Look into it. Be a world champion. Those guys aren't a. They couldn't sniff the NFL athletic. Well, what's going? So what's going? Like, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you the transition. I'm gonna tell you what's going on in the transition from. <laughs> he had to repeat himself like four times to get his voice heard. There. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you before they let him speak. Look at that. Here one more time. <laughs>
<laughs> those guys aren't a. They couldn't sniff the NFL athletic. Uh, well, what's going? So what's going? Like, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you the transition. NBA I'm gonna tell you what's, what's going on in the transition. <laughs> They don't listen to shit. They're always interrupting each other. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> from these guys. So you got, as you say, you, you played a little bit in the NFL. And a lot of these. You, really with other <laughs> you played a little bit in NFL. No, he didn't. He even gave that look like, I don't remember you. Because I think NFL football players are like Navy SEALs. They all know each other. They all know each other's stats, who played where, because there's loads of people out there that have fucking stolen Valor NFL careers. So they all know each other. So even that look he gave him, you played a little bit NFL. He knows he didn't look. So you got, as you say, you, you played a little bit in NFL. That, that's a guy that doesn't believe you. You played a little bit NFL, right? <laughs> He's setting you up. You played a little bit, didn't you, right? You said you played, right? Uh, <laughs> fell and a lot of these really with the other point. Look at Brock Lesnar, yeah, didn't sniff the NFL, yeah. Got, that, got that's also about <laughs> Brock Lesnar played five preseason games in the NFL. So, Brock Lesnar had a better NFL career than fucking Brendan. Hilarious because again, football is the, those intangible skills that take a long time to develop. Brendan so played zero games in the NFL, he was new, like, I don't think he played in college, right? He played in high school. Who? Brock Lesnar, he's a wrestler in college. He's, he's a wrestler, yeah. yeah. Brendan Schultz did not play NFL football for one second. <laughs> okay, cool. Tell me the chat. Tell me the chat if I'm wrong. Actually, I'm going to make a poll. Um, so, uh, let's, let's make a poll, actually. Uh, uh, if, if, if you had a trial for the Buffalo... Be, ew, Buffalo. If you had a trial for the Buffalo, if you had a trial for the Buffalo Bills, um, can you? Uh, yeah, give you judge of Can you say? Can you say? Can you say you played in the NFL? Can you say? Can you say you played in the NFL? Let's see what you guys think. Because I think you can. Because that's still a big achievement. But maybe everyone's going to disagree with me here. Let's see what people say here. Can you say you played in the NFL? If you play, if you had a trial for the Buffalo Bills, because that's still a big deal, in my opinion, that you play, you had a fucking trial for the Buffalo Bills. What do you guys think? Let's see what you think of the chat. No, no. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Everyone say no. Holy shit, okay. Cool. Am I honestly I don't know how can you like let's see how do how do how do NFL trials work? How do how do NFL trials work? Because I swear you have to get invited to like football ones. Okay, cool. The majority of professional trials take place over a six-week period in which a player will attend a training and play in matches. During this six-week period, the coaches will assess the player on the four main areas. Okay, it's cool. So how do you, how, yeah, let's, let's do this. How do you get invited to NFL trials? Let's see if that works. Uh, what are people saying? You just work out for coaches. Eddie D. Oh, so you're not working out for teams. You're going to the <laughs> MDAS. <laughs> Ags, you think you stuff with your hot takes? <laughs> no, never, never. Shitty hot takes forever and ever. <laughs> oh, every prediction I've had has fucking been awful. Um, okay, so how do you get Sky for, yeah, that's it. How do you get Sky for NFL? To get recruited for football, athletes need to start by researching which division levels they qualify for athletically, which kind of schools are interested in. Once they've created this target list of schools, no, but I mean for like, if you're not, can anyone try out? To be eligible for draft, players must have been out of high school for at least three years and have used up their college eligibility to start. Hold on. So you can't play football if you don't go to college? Huh? So imagine if I'm just some like, yeah, how do you try out for a team? If I'm just some freak athlete just sitting at home and I think I could play for an NFL team, I can't go because I'm not in college. What? Instead of individual teams hosting tryouts, there are regional scouting combines which anyone can attend. Oh, okay. 
I didn't know that. Anyone could attend to get their name on the team's radar. NFL teams send scouts to these combines to look for talent. Oh, so it doesn't work like football. Okay, in the UK, professional football, for the most part, you can get tr you can get scouted to play for a professional football team here, which you, which you call soccer, but it's actually football. If you like get scouted playing for another team. So if you're playing for like a, you know, an amateur team somewhere, there might be a, a scout for May night who might be passing by and see you. But most of the time you'll go to trials. But to get to trials, you usually have to be invited, especially at the higher level. There are some open trials for other same professional teams. But if you want to play for a professional team, you have to get invited. So you have to be of a certain standard. And if someone recommends you, then you go to a trial game and you play for that specific club. What they're saying here is that NFL has a draft, a combine, that kind of thing where they do fucking Olympic sports and stuff. They bench press, all that sort of shit, right? So I'm guessing in those generic NFL type of things, coaches are there from different franchises or just people representing the fucking league. And then they keep an eye out to see if there's anybody there with potential. So effectively, what Brendan did isn't playing in the NFL because anyone could do that. Now I understand why people are getting annoyed. I get it now. Because anybody could go to a fucking tryout for an NFL team. Oh, I understand. I understand. Uh, what we said, Agassino, Stephen Neal won many Super Bowls without college resume. Okay, cool. Yeah, I understand. Sorry, I got it completely wrong. You're right, Didi. I got it completely wrong. I assumed that you have to be at a certain level to get a trial to go to an NFL team, but you don't. You just have to kind of know when it's on, go. And then obviously impress, and then you can maybe get recommended to go to a team and shit. Ah, I understand. I understand people are getting annoyed now. Now I get it. Now I get it. Um, when I was 10, someone said, Yeah, I got to play catch with the Toronto Blue Jays on a school trip. So I played <laughs> the Elephant Graveyard. <laughs> okay. Elephant Graveyard, fuck you. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> you put it really well. When I was 10, I got to play catch with the Toronto Blue Jays on a school trip. <laughs> So I played in the MLB. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll put my hands up. I'll put my hands up. My hot take <laughs> has been cancelled. <laughs> I caught a ball. <laughs> oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I swear to God. <laughs> so, you know, he's playing against guys, and there's just those details that make all the But I'm saying he's athletic. Couldn't sniff the NFL. Now, here are the Reddit cards. Uh, anyway, fuck that. But yeah, anyway, okay, cool. Now I understand. I completely get it why you guys think um, he's talking out of his ass and why that doesn't make complete sense, of course. And clearly, he didn't play anywhere <laughs> near to the NFL in the slightest. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was a good analogy, man. Thank you for uh, demonstrating my red darkness. Thank you for demonstrating my redact. I'm actually swimming in sweat right now. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah. Even my fucking arms, like this bit here is sweating. Right, the little crevice on my fucking arm. You see that? You see that? Look at that, look at that, look at that, huh? It's getting there. But yeah, um, the crevice on my arm is sweating. You know when you have this sweat here? That's when you know you're fucking sweating. God almighty. 